Hello, my name's John Savile. I'm currently the Chief Executive of the Medical Research Council in the UK. We're really committed uh, to join the global effort to combat dementia, which as everyone knows is a terribly common and terribly debilitating condition that affects maybe one in four people at some stage in their life and virtually every family. Uh, we're committed to doubling our research spend over the life of the UK Parliament, that is by about 2015, and we're very excited by the concept of the UK Dementia's platform, because this is a novel way of bringing patients and families together with researchers in academia and in industry, and it's this crucial business of getting industry and academe together to help patients that uh, is one of the most exciting elements of the programme. What we're trying to do is to uh, develop uh, cohorts of uh, volunteers that we've already got into a resource that academic and industry researchers can use jointly or separately to try and understand more about the uh, pathogenesis of dementia uh, and its treatment. Uh, and we're spending many millions of pounds to establish this uh, platform which draws on tremendously strong studies like the UK Biobank and the Million Women study. Uh, very interestingly, six companies uh, have already provided uh, cash or in-kind resources to join us uh, in this exercise. It's Araclon, uh, AstraZeneca, Metamune, GSK, Ixico, uh, Janssen Research and Development and Soma Logic and we hope that more companies may join as well because this is really quite a novel way of using public research money to help companies test live assets and what the MRC will be doing is enabling researchers to characterise uh, in fine detail uh, the nature of the disorder in volunteers who are prepared to go into uh, studies of diagnostics or treatment. So this really represents a very novel use of public money in partnership with industry to get where we want to be and that is to find a treatment for dementia, to develop diagnostics, to root this problem out earlier when we hope we can intervene. So I wish the UK Dementia's platform well as it goes forward.